Hey guys, so it's been a while since I've done a sit down video and I was about to swap out my bags from one bag to another and I thought I would film it really quickly because I had some time today and I just felt like doing a very chill, classic, good old what's in my bag video and it is going to be on my Louis Vuitton Palm Springs backpack in the PM size. This bag is my life. This is my all time favorite luxury handbag purchase to date obsessed with it and I'm going to be cleaning it out sharing it with you guys and then packing this bag which is my newest bag and it's the Gigi and Tommy Hilfiger collaboration little box bag that I love too the problem with both of these bags is once I put my stuff in it it's very very difficult to swap out of it because they're both so convenient they're both so carefree and comfortable and just go with everything so I was using this for about two weeks and now I'm going to swap into this which that means this will be going strong for probably two weeks and I feel like I've never done this before. I've, maybe I have. I don't know. My OG subscribers will know. I feel like I either have done like a pack with me video before or I do what's my bags all the time and I love, love filming these videos. It's my favorite, favorite type of video to film and watch. Anyways, if you're new here and you just randomly clicked on this video, welcome. My name is Lisa and I do fashion videos. If you love fashion and you love videos like this, then I would love for you to join my YouTube fam. If you'd like, then hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell so you can be notified every time that I upload. I also have an Instagram where you could check out how I style everything that I talk about here on my channel. Okay, so first, oh my God, it's so heavy. First of all, this guy, like I said, I've been using it for pretty much two weeks, maybe like a week and five days. It is so, so full and I do feel like it's not dirty like I feel like I'm really good at removing receipts and you know keeping my bag organized like that but there's an unnecessary amount of like lip glosses in here and there's my agenda in here and I just feel like don't need that with me all the time so since I'm swapping my bags might as well show you guys and you guys already know how I feel about this bag this is literally me in a bag it's so cool. I named it Tommy because I'm a little bit of a tomboy and that's funny because I named this bag Gigi and it's Tommy and Gigi's like collaboration and this bag is Tommy and they're two of my like really really used bags that are super convenient. So random. Yeah like I said I use this bag constantly. Favorite best luxury purchase ever. So so good and I have the one from kind of in the beginning when they first came out this nylon-y fabric my best friend has this bag too and on the inside it's more of a cloth fabric and I, that, I think that kind of sucks because I feel like the nylon fabric is so easy to clean I'm not worried about it if something spills or if lip gloss gets on it it's just a very carefree lining anyways so the first thing on the top here is this red little patent pouch this I picked up from the thrift store I thought it was a good little cute size to test out for a card holder because I do really think I want to get the Chanel O case as a card holder and currently I'm not using it as a card holder even though it was fantastic as a a wallet I am using it kind of like how I packed my mini pochette which now my mini pochette is my wallet so I'll show you guys that in a second and there's a reason behind that as well so in here I just have random things I have Neosporin a couple lip liners I have the alarm to my house a lip pencil sharpener a rollerball perfume from Giorgio Armani in the scent C and I I love this little pouch I have a little nail file it fits a good amount in here it as you could see it's like stuffed to the brim I don't care this was barely a dollar so I don't care if it gets all warped or anything like that next in here I have a new Colourpop lipstick or ultra matte lip whatever they call it I'm very claustrophobic when it comes to ultra matte lips and it sucks because I do like the way they look and Colourpop's formula is really good because it doesn't feel terribly claustrophobic but at the end of the day it is stuck on you unless you have like a certain something to remove it so it does give me a little bit of anxiety wearing it and the reason why I purchased this one is because I needed a red one Matt hates when I wear red lipstick because he feels like he can't kiss me and he loves showing affection and I love that so much too but he feels like he can't kiss me because it gets on him and I did really want to wear red lips for my birthday and the holidays and New Year's so I just thought claustrophobic it is so I ordered a ColourPop little red lipstick or lip I don't even know what they're called matte lip glosses what are these called anyways the color is called creeper I tried this on the other day and it is the most gorgeous red ever 
this is old news. I don't need to talk about this. Everyone and their mom knows about ColourPop. Okay, next thing on here on top is a car charger. <sighs> so depressing to talk about, but my car is now in the shop at Audi. My car's at Audi for the third time for the same problem. I got the Q3 last year, so basically brand new, and it's already been in the shop three times for the same problem it's so frustrating if anybody has the audi q3 let me know if you've had any like problems i feel like because it's a newer type of car from them there are now cars coming out from my year that i got it that are starting to have problems so let me know i know a couple of you do have that car so so frustrated it's so annoying another story for another day um and then i also have my ray-bans in here my good old ones that are round with the aviator bar whatever you want to call them. A lot of you guys ended up getting these and you love them just as much as I do. Even though I do feel like they are more summery, like I feel like it's a little bit more of a summer vibe, but which reminds me, I do want to go get like a big bougie pair of like, I don't know if I want Celine's. I don't want Celine's. I don't know if I want to spend that kind of money. I'm going to see if like Key Australia has like some big like covering your whole face like I feel like that's very winter I don't know why next in here I'm just gonna grab my agenda this has been in here for the whole entire time that I've been using this bag just because I've been needing it every single day it's the holidays it's my birthday there's a lot going on right now in my life and I'm very visual and it really really helps when I write things down and then I look at it again so I can remind myself to keep my brain very organized. I do have the inserts that are brand new for 2018 so let me know if you wanted to see an updated agenda setup video for 2018. I'm really really excited to use them. Obviously it's the end of December so I haven't started using them yet but they're in here so I'm really really excited. So let me know in the comments below if that's something you're interested in and then in the back pocket here you can see I have my mini pochette this is in Damier Aben, Damier Abin. I don't know how to pronounce it. Don't kill me. And I am using this currently as my wallet. I have receipts in here that I do need to keep and a lot of like punch cards, like rewards cards. I am upset, hands down, I'm more than this. I'm obsessed with using this as my wallet. So the other reason why I wanted to start using this as my wallet is because I feel like it keeps my mini bags more organized. When I'm using a mini bag, I literally pop my rollerball perfume, whatever lip product I'm using in here, and then I put it in my mini bag with a pack of gum and my phone, good to go, solid. It's so amazing. Also, in the back here, I'm gonna show you guys. In the back here, I have my key clay which depressingly in here is the car fob or whatever, the key fob for the loner car that I'm using from Audi at the moment. This could actually fit in here. So when I'm running to the gym and I'm running just an errand or whatever I wanna do, I literally just pop my keys and my key clay in here. And then I'll also put like a chapstick, maybe gum and have my phone in like my butt pocket or whatever in my hand and then I'm good to go. So I do really, really like the function of this for the reason of it being a really quick grab and go clutch or wallet, whatever you wanna call it, and then also to keeping my mini bags organized. And the reason why I started doing that is because my, my Gucci Marmont mini, because it has like that pinky suede inside, started getting a little not so good looking. So I was like, maybe I need to be using something you know, on the inside to make it not look so yucky. Anyways, that's how that started. I don't know if you guys wanted to hear that story or not, but oh well. And in here I have my Tease Body Mist from Victoria's Secret. This is my new favorite from them. It has been for quite some time. In junior high and high school, I used to wear Heavenly, and then after that I just started wearing perfume. And I missed having a body splash and no scent from Victoria's Secret. I liked really it just sort of reminded me too much of high school and then they came out with this and it smells super super good so this is like my fifth bottle of this I love it because it's a perfect size for a handbag and then also anything else yes in the back pocket I have an empty bottle of Advil because that's really useful to have an empty bottle just kidding I need to fill that up obviously and then I have this guy this is so 
so so cute so we got this at a car show it is a thing that you could put your light not license but your registration and your car insurance in to keep it organized so that when you pull it out of your glove compartment it's just really really easy to find it says license and registration please and there's a little cop doggy on here a little german shepherd and i thought that was so cute so yes the reason why this is in my bag again my car is at audi getting fixed so i need this with me and it's just been in my bag moving on to the bottom we're slowly we're slowly getting there guys uh i have a double mint pack of gum this and winter fresh is the only gum that i can find that i like that has sugar in it all sugar-free gum really hurts my stomach and there's barely any sugar in each piece there's only two grams of sugar so it's like it's not that big of a deal I don't know why there's so many sugar-free gums. They they kill my stomach and it's just so annoying because literally that and I think Bubblelicious, I think Bubblelicious has sugar in it. Bubblelicious has sugar in it. It's really yummy, but it's like it doesn't like keep your breath on check at all and there's not very many options. This is my favorite lotion ever. It's the brand Hemp's. Usually I buy the original scent and it's like a bluish teal color and for some reason I smelled this for the first time. It was vanilla plum. When I smelled this at the little beauty shop that I got this from, I loved it and now I don't, but I use it because the lotion is so good and the size is so cute and convenient for a handbag. In here I have just my phone charger, not exciting, and jewelry. So yeah, that's it for the inside of the bag. Ooh, <laughs> here are my hoop earrings. These are from Forever 21 from like three, four years ago, long time ago and the good old Amazon locket cuffs. These are in the best condition ever for being so cheap. I always get questions about these and they are the jam. They're so cute together. They're so cute by themselves. I layer them all the time with like my Balenciaga giant hardware bracelet. Love these. I usually, I don't usually keep them in my bag, but sometimes I guess I do, apparently. And in the small pocket here, I have an unnecessary amount a lip, of lip products, as you can see. <laughs> On the top here, I do have a little floss. I always have floss with me. And I have my Chanel Rouge Coco Lip Balm. I have my Maybelline Maple Kiss. This is the number one lipstick that I am so obsessed with on my skin tone. It's being discontinued. This is my last one. I try not to use it because I'm scared of finishing it and hating life without it. This is the Nivea just classic lip balm. Not really a fan, I'm not gonna lie, it's whatever. And the best lip gloss of life. I literally just threw away the other one that I had of it. This is my second bottle. This is Rosy Future from Revlon. Um, this reminds me of a dupe of Rihanna's universal lip gloss color. If you guys want a dupe, this is it. My best friend has the Rihanna lip gloss and I tried it the other day for the first time. Like this is identical to my Revlon. The Rihanna one does feel a little bit thicker, like a little bit like better quality, but this being a little bit thinner, a tiny bit thinner, is almost like a moisturizing thing. Like I use this like chapstick most of the time and I always get asked what the heck is on your lips and it's a lip gloss, so I love that. This is a chapstick that I'm probably not going to keep in my bags anymore because I don't use it. It's the Chapstick Total Hydration in Coral Blush. It's a moisture and tint little guy that it's really pretty. This is, again, something more for spring and summer. So I don't need that in my bag anymore. And then this, oh my gosh, I bought like three more of these from Target the other day because they were in the sale bucket, which means they're probably going to be discontinued. I used the one that was in my makeup bag, but this is what's on my lips today. And it's the NYX Lip Tease I Woke Up Like This little guy. And then I have, because I just threw away that other rosy future that I was using, I have that in the center of my lips. Love this stuff so much. So glad that I read up on it. I think they still sell it at Ulta. I'll try to find it and link it below for you guys. If that's getting discontinued, I am so sad, but I do have two other bottles. Then I have another little pair of earrings. These were from a pack of earrings from Forever 21. Ooh, my nails look so pretty with the ring light. I'm not really a fan of them without the light hitting on them, but they look so pretty with the ring light. So these little earrings, I have those in here and then just... What else? There's like trash. After I said it, my bag was organized. So trash and a cough drop. That is it, I believe. 
that is it and that is it so that is it for my palm springs backpack by far the best luxury designer handbag purchase ever like hands down the best so I always get asked to do an updated sort of video on this there's not really much to say because I feel like I say it over and over and over and over again but it's my favorite bag it is so well loved I do think now that we are getting into chillier weather I am going to probably not be using it as much i'm still going to be using it a ton and the reason for that is because when you're wearing a really thick jacket it's hard to keep the straps on your back like right now i'm just wearing this really cute l m sweatshirt and it's comfortable with something like this so if i'm wearing like a knit you know sweater i was gonna say jumper because i watch so many <laughs> uk and european fashion vloggers uh any sort of like knit sweater or like pullover or cardigan or even my leather jackets this is fine this is comfortable it's fine but now we're getting into like puffer weather where i'm wearing my puffer jackets and things like that or even my faux fur coats it's harder to wear on my back so if i am wearing a puffer and i do take this with me usually i'm holding it um by the top of the bag or i just have it on one sort of arm which is kind of annoying because then it falls off but warmer weather not so freezing weather this bag is the jam so i love it love it so much and i'm still gonna force myself to wear it even when i'm wearing thicker things i don't care because especially if it's raining this bag is going to be a very carefree bag to wear in the rain i don't know i guess i could do a wear and tear video for you guys if you're interested let me know I don't feel like there's very much wear, but yeah, I love that bag. Okay, moving on to the beautiful Gigi. I was so shocked by how many of you guys wanted this bag. I mean, a lot of you guys. And a few of you guys have messaged me and told me you do have it and you love it so much. And that you wear it to death and it's still in really, really good shape. So I'm really happy to hear that. And I did get a message from... Oh, I have something in here. I did get a message from one of you guys this morning actually telling me that you found one brand new on Amazon. Congratulations. That's amazing. I will always keep my eyes out for you guys if I see one on Vestiaire Collective or on the Real Real or on the Pre-Love Market or maybe Amazon, I guess. And I'll link it below in any video that I talk about it and i'll let you guys know in my instagram stories that i have it linked below in any of my videos or you could just go check those videos um frequently to see if i've linked below any new ones that have popped up i just found in one of the little pockets this little dior lip maximizer i love this this is like the little collagen one that makes your lips tingle and it's a really pretty gloss too so that actually oh my god now i have so many lip glosses so unnecessary it's like you only wear one lip product a day i mean i think i usually do that i start the day off with the lip product i'm going to be using and that's the lip product i'm using throughout the day no reason to have 50 of them but apparently you have to and there, there's trash in here too okay so what i love about this bag is that it's just a really huge at a glance opening i have used this a lot since i have gotten it it's been pretty much between this and my palm spring backpack and then anytime that we're going out in the evening or if i just feel like randomly being minimal i'm using my gucci marmont mini if you follow me on instagram you could see kind of like my phases of what bags i'm using at the moment some bags i have sold since my last you know handbags i've sold uh, video so I could update you guys on that for the most part these those have been like the three bags I'm using and the main huge ones during the day it's just this my backpack sometimes also to my beautiful beautiful Teddy Blake handbags those bags are so gorgeous right now my boyfriend's mom is borrowing the nude one she loves it so I'm just gonna go ahead and start packing this I do not need my agenda with me uh, and uh, let's start with I guess my mini pochette i'm gonna just put that right down in there and then i'm gonna take my little red patent pouch put that right next to it another really good thing about having something that is structured like this and is open like this is it's so organized everything has like a place and you don't really feel like when you're putting things taking things in and out that you're just shoving it in here in this bag it can get very very disorganized i don't care because I, obviously i use it to death but just saying so in case you were wondering i'm gonna put my keys let's see no i'm gonna put my keys just down in here and then this guy 
which is not a permanent thing that I have with me all the time. Usually it's in my glove compartment. Put them in front of my mini pochette. Let's put gum lotion in the back little zippy here like that. Can you guys see? I should have had the camera facing down. I'm sorry. And then I'm going to have my little body splash right there standing up. I do want to keep my... Do I want to... I was going to put this in my bag. I don't think I need this in my bag. I'm going to put this in my makeup bag. This is my color plop. Color plop? Color pop creeper, right? Yeah, creeper. I'm going to take my lip glosses that I'm using currently and put them I'm gonna be minimal with the lip glosses granted I have lip products already in my little red pouch that I just ignore that are that are there I pretend like they're not there and I just I'm going to put those I put my NYX slip tees in here and my rosy future in there I don't know where my phone is my phone will be going in here which I'll talk about in a second oh my god that's the best pocket ever and then I'm also gonna just put my sunglasses right on top car charger right on top actually no i'm gonna put that on this side back there i mean there is so much room in this bag i still have so much room and oh yeah my floss and my advil i'm gonna just put in here loosely because because i want to and i am going to just put my phone charger right on top here so it's really full this bag does have a little bit of weight to it prior to putting anything in it but it's not bad it's not bad at all this is what it looks like full it's so cute so what i was saying before why i love sometimes i'll carry it like this where it's just like the open on the top what i love so much about this pocket is where it where it's placed and you literally just grab your phone from there and put it back in in that same spot keeps it so organized if i were to change anything about this bag i wish there was a back slip pocket back here and then you could just put your phone there but it's just as easy to just grab it and have it in that secure pocket right there so that is it and i'm going to just go about my day now now that it's packed go about my next two weeks basically and through my well on my birthday i'll probably change out to my gucci marmont mini same thing for new year's eve christmas is going to be at home so i don't need a bag i don't need to be wearing a bag around the house basically and i am getting a handbag for my birthday so stay tuned for what i got for my birthday video i'm super excited it might change out into that so we will see anyways that is it you guys this was a very long chatty chill video and i had a lot of fun filming it i hope you guys enjoyed watching it please give it a thumbs up if you did and i hope everyone has an amazing amazing holiday and new year and i love every single one of you guys anyways thanks again for watching i'll see you guys next time bye Mwah.